Welcome to the right gun. Welcome back everyone and for those new to my channel please like subscribe and share help me grow the community. Today we start part one of our custom SIG P229 build. As you can see the frame here matrix precision. This is a P2296 frame as they call it. So it's a P229 but with a beaver tail and handle more resembling the P226. Uh, you can see the parts here. All those parts are from matrix precision. The Hoag G10 Piranha grips. You can see various pieces that we're going to install. Some of the springs and smaller pieces I still left in the bag because I don't want them falling all over the place and losing them. You also have the locking block and the barrel here is from Barstow and the slide is the Pro Cut slide. I thought it would look really good uh, with the stainless steel barrel. Okay, for the first part of the build, we are going to install the hammer, the safety lever, the ejector, sear and sear spring. And here are the two tools that you will need, a brass pick or punch, and the notched flat tip screwdriver. Insert the hammer. And then follow that with the large pin. You will have to hold it because it will slide out of either side since there's no tension. This is just a quick overview of how the ejector, the sear, sear spring, and the safety lever will go in and the order uh, that they will be put together. Place the ejector on the pin that is in the frame and it goes in the first hole as you can see and then it just slides in and sits next to the hammer. Next we will place the sear and you'll see me adjust my grip and rotate my fingers, index finger specifically up into the frame of the gun to hold the ejector and the trigger and trigger pin in place. There is a bit of a trick to placing the sear correctly. It has to slide under the pin that holds the ejector in place, but then slide up over the hammer. You can see me with my right index finger in the frame. That's important because it allows the you to push the sear up over the trigger and hold it in place. You can see that the pinholes of the sear are in the at the rear of the gun and that the U-notch is facing upwards. Now it's time for you to use a pin or a punch to hold these two pieces uh, in place so you can insert the sear spring. So you might have to try this a couple times. As you can see, it starts out fairly well, but then falls out of place. Don't get discouraged, just kind of wiggle everything back into position and just be gentle and there, threaded it right through. Use your notched screwdriver to make a little space right there and that's where the safety lever will go. So again, there's really only one way for this safety lever to go in. So start inserting it, slowly back off your punch as I'm doing here. This kind of looks like a mess, but everything just falls into place. Again, I had to do this two or three times just to get it right for the camera. Uh, so don't be discouraged if everything falls out the bottom. It happened to me. It'll happen to you, but just keep putting everything together. It'll be fine. Once the safety lever is in place, then re-thread the punch through the small pinhole. Just like I'm doing now. Again, it looks like a mess, but it just eventually goes. Now it's time to secure everything with the small pin. And as you can just see, I'm pushing the punch back through with the small pin. You just kind of have to wiggle it around and it pushes right out. Now you do have to be careful since the sear and the sear spring are not under tension. Everything can slide out the side. So you see me being very careful with that. Next, we are going to use the notched screwdriver to secure the sear spring. Now I tried to do this and get it on camera. I got most of it on camera, but my fat fingers and the instrument got in the way. So here we are. So you just push it over. Now this is the part of the sear spring that's on the left hand side and it goes under 
the pin that holds in the ejector. You can see it here, and I will highlight it also uh, in the film. So this is a little bit infuriating, but it's not bad. You just need to practice it a couple of times. So here it is, and I will do a freeze frame and highlight it as well. Here you can see the sear spring under the pin. Here's a good view of the ejector. And I highlighted this to show the position of the safety lever, and you can also see the sear, sear spring, and the ejector. So one last note about the small pin that we just inserted to hold the ejector sear assembly and the safety lever in place. Now this does go through the portion of the frame where the slide rides, so you have to make sure that the slide or the small pin is inserted equidistant so it does not protrude and hinder the slide action during operation. This concludes part one of our custom P229 build. Here's a good top-down view of the assembly. So thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and hopefully you tune in for the rest of the custom SIG P229 build. Thank you very much.